Tonight, apologies from Hawaii's governor for the pain and confusion caused by a false missile attack alert. That alert went to every cell phone on every island. In some cases, students ran from buildings at the University of Honolulu. Look at this video. Families were hiding in closets during this. The state's emergency management agency administrator says that the air happened. Get this, when someone pushed the wrong button at the end of a shift. What happened today was totally unacceptable and many in our community was deeply affected by this and I'm sorry you know I'm too very angry and disappointed that this happened many said what made this even worse is that the all clear wasn't actually officially given to people over their cell phones until 38 minutes after that initial alert went out just fear of like I wasn't with my kids I was going to die my kids could die um, what was I going to do so then came the relief, but that was followed by anger from people in Hawaii. Uh, one couple tell us it's a honeymoon they won't soon forget. Yona Gavino explains. We're in a little bit of a, a state of shock. Joe Benavides was sound asleep in his Maui hotel when an alarm went off, warning him of an impending missile strike. I was kind of bracing myself for that uh, unknown moment. He just got married in St. Petersburg. The newlyweds spent the last morning of their Hawaii honeymoon hiding in a bathroom. It puts the entire state in, uh, in a bit of a panic that is not necessary uh, for a lot of the tourists that are here. I mean, it, it puts them in, in, a, in a different mindset. They're going from vacation mode to survival mode. As sirens blared, a loudspeaker told guests this is not a drill, Please take cover. Well, we could hear commotion uh, down the hallways. So we, we kind of open the door a little bit and you can kind of hear people scattering real quick to the rooms. Around 40 minutes later, an announcement on the TV said false alarm. It was followed by this alert on his phone. There is no missile threat or danger to the state of Hawaii. Repeat false alarm. Joe says it wasn't easy to forget those terrifying moments. Just those moments of like, well, what's going to happen? Is this it? Is this like the end of us? You know, like, is it going to hit here? That was really like the most stressful part, honestly. I still feel a little amped up, but having a little bit of peace of mind that, uh, you know, it's been confirmed that nothing, nothing uh, major uh, is expected at this point. I feel a little bit better. Yona Gavino, CBS 11 News.